going one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. It is actually. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so then I, the last one's a paradiddle. One, two, three, paradiddle. four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. That's cool. That's that's a rad <laughs> fill. So if you wrote that and you can play that clean every time. That's a cool fill. I like it. I think I, I think you can use it. You can play it fast. I don't think it'll really dust the band because you have that flam on four. That's what's not playing. Just a oh, whatever. You have the you have the punch. That's what's gonna what allow your band to land because they will know. Okay. So I like it. In fact, I use one similar to that all the time. I use that one a lot. of that Ooh. same fill, so something that wouldn't fit nicely on a grid <laughs> if, if I were recording it. But um, anyway, I like that fill a lot. Here's the deal. If you're going to do something like that, make sure that you got to hit your toms a little bit harder. Uh, yeah, it, uh, okay, so that was a, that was a bit exaggerated. You want to go for about the same sound quality. So, uh, let me finish explaining. So, when you do something like this, right, what is louder, your snare drum or your toms? If you hit it the exact same speed, the, the same velocity with your stick, which one is going to be the loudest drum? Neither. Exact same velocity. You got more harmonic overtones in the snare. Yep. So, now, same question. If you hit the same velocity, which one cuts more, here or here? Cuts is like... Like the audience will hear it. Yeah. So, in, in order, this will cut the most. Two, three, four. Well, so, okay. when you start thinking like a professional, you got to hit this harder than you hit this, which is harder than you hit this, in order to make everything sound even across the board. But that's a tricky thing to do, which is why a lot of times when you hear these kids that do the around the world fill, da da do do do. It pitters out near the end because they're not getting. Yeah, they're not hitting the harder when they go around. They're hitting the same volume, the same. So with your fill, play it for me again. I like that. No, 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 no. Your other one. Your your fill that you're putting into. Is it? Let it be. Yeah. Conversely, you will hit with your right hand harder than you will hit with your left hand. So this balance seems to be pretty good. But think of it like think of it like a tom melody. The same as three five four, right? Does three five four sound as good when it's like this? Or does it sound better? Right? So now try it like that. Go a little bit slower and just go a little bit heavier on your right hand. A little bit. Your snare is so tuned down right now. Oh, I know. Oh, it 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 doesn't have this ring. It's, it's this just, is. It's just. Whoop, whoop, 
is the, this is one of the more <laughs> well worn it's, heads. It's, 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 it's one of the least junky extra snares that I have. <laughs> Stop, stop. I'm, I'm trying to help you out with sound quality. If you play it like that, that's going to sound like a professional quality, Phil. I'm going to play it like that then. Yep. It's a good idea. Okay? Uh, yes. So, the thing to remember is 